Hi, Linton here, and this is Sketch and Tell. I want you to imagine that we are in a very different place than at home or even at school. That we are down at the beach, which is a place that I'm missing right at the moment. But imagine that we are down at the beach, it's a beautiful long weekend, the sun is shining, the water's nice and calm and there are lots of people splashing around and enjoying uh, their time off. There's one family who really want to do something special on this weekend. And so they decide to hire a small boat and go right out into the deep part of the bay and do some fishing together. Now one of the members in that family is a young girl about nine years old and she's very excited about her first time out in a boat. So she listens carefully to the instructions, she puts her life jacket on, gets inside, holds on tightly as they start the motor up and they race out across the water out into the deep part of the bay. And there they turn the motor off and they get their fishing lines out and they start to do some fishing. And I'm sure that that young girl was catching some really good sized fish because they stayed out there right through to lunchtime. They had a picnic lunch together which they ate in the boat and then they continued fishing through into the afternoon. But it was around about three o'clock that suddenly the weather started to change. The temperature started to drop very quickly and it was getting very cold. And as the temperature dropped, the wind picked up, and as the wind got stronger, the waves got bigger. And they looked up into the sky, and they saw a huge storm front rolling towards them. On the edge of that storm front, they could see a mass of dark, swirling clouds. And in those clouds, they could see the flicker of lightning. They could hear the rumble of thunder across the water. And they realised that they had not checked out the weather conditions for the whole of the day. And they were going to be in serious trouble out there in the bay in that storm if they didn't get home quickly. So they wound their fishing lines in, started up the motor and headed back towards the safety of the, bay, uh, the beach. But the storm was also travelling very, very quickly. And before they could get back to the beach, the storm had caught up to them and it crashed down all around them. <clears throat> the rain was so heavy that it turned the afternoon into night time. Except for when the lightning split the sky apart, the thunder was really close and loud, and the waves were huge. And one of those waves hit the side of their small boat, and their boat tipped over, upside down. And everybody in that boat was thrown out into the stormy sea, including the young girl. Now I'm glad to say, she still had her life jacket on and so she held her breath as she went under the water and she waited till the life jacket pushed her back up to the surface where she could float in that stormy sea. But as she looked around, she saw that the small boat that she had been in only seconds ago was way out of her reach and was being swept further away. She looked around to see if she could see any of her family but she couldn't, it was just too dark and the waves were too big. But she thought to herself, I know I'm not a good swimmer, but if I kick with my legs, paddle with my hands, I might be able to make it back to the beach. But as she turned around to see where she should be going to, she realised that she had completely lost her sense of direction. She didn't know which way to go. Do I swim this way or is that going out deeper into the bay? Do I go the opposite way? And as she was wondering what to do, she felt something brush against her legs in the water. <gasps> what was that? Was it a shark? Was it a sea monster? But when she looked again, she could see in the dark waters the shapes of some very large creatures that looked like this. She realised that she was surrounded by a whole pod of dolphins. And these dolphins were not only swimming under her and around her, but some of them started to come around behind her and using their long noses, or we call it a snout, they started to gently nudge her and push her in a certain direction. And she had a feeling deep down 
that these dolphins were trying to guide her and help her back to the beach that she couldn't see. And so she decided to trust those dolphins and to start swimming in the direction that they were nudging her. And as she swam, the dolphins stayed with her, swimming alongside. And some of the dolphins kept coming around behind her and kept giving her a little push and a little nudge to make sure she was heading in, that, that, uh, in the right direction. And even though it seemed like a long time, it actually was not uh, all that long before her feet touched sand. And she was able to walk up onto the beach and there she found her family who had got there quite a while before her because they were much better swimmers. And she was able to tell them that something special had happened. Now I like this story because I do like dolphins and I'll take any opportunity to, to draw a dolphin or two. But I do like this story also because it actually happened to a young girl who lives over in South Australia. And she found out that day that dolphins are amazing creatures and have been known to reach out and help people who are struggling in the water. In her case, they stayed with her and nudged her and guided her back to the beach. In other times, dolphins have been known to come underneath people and lift them up on their backs and to let them hold on so they don't drown. Other dolphins have guided ships into the safety of the harbour. Other dolphins have been even known to keep sharks away from somebody in the water. And as I thought about these amazing dolphins, even though I've never been out in the water and I've never been in a stormy sea like that young girl, I thought, you know, it reminds me of First of all, some very special people that we have around us who are like dolphins. Not that they look like a dolphin, but I'm thinking of when we're going through a scary time when we might feel that our safe place has been tipped upside down. We might feel that we've lost our sense of direction. We're not sure what to do or where to go. We're feeling uh, out of, we're feeling, is there any way back to uh, the beach or back to normal? sort of times like we are in now where it feels sometimes a little bit anxious and a little bit scary we don't have dolphins who are there with us because they don't live in the bathtub and it's not good to uh, take them out of the ocean but we have people around us who are there to help us like these dolphins and I'm thinking of some of those special helpers that we have at home it could be our parents it could be someone in the family who's there to nudge us in the right direction, just let us know that we're not alone, to give us what we need to help us in the next step. I'm thinking of some of those special people at school, teachers and mentors and carers and chaplains. They're kind of like dolphins too. And I don't think they'll mind if you see them that way. They're there with you, wanting to help you through this difficult time. But I'm also thinking of someone who is like these special people in lives, but even better. Someone who is with us all of the time. Someone who wants us to know that we are deeply loved. Someone who's there to guide us, to lift us up, and to surround us with, with uh, protection. And I'm thinking of God. And God, for me, is not a dolphin, but like that. And it's a way for me to think about God being with us. And just like that young girl made that choice in the water to trust those dolphins, each day I'm learning to say yes to God. Please be my helper today. Have a great day. Thank you.